Before I go into a fight, it's always like a mix of emotions. Um, I talk to my coaches a lot, uh, especially Jack, and I always say to him, you're just gonna tell me what to do, aren't you? And then he always just tells me what to do. Um, there's always mixed emotions. It's like nervous, uh, of course, but also really excited because you want to showcase all the stuff that you've been working on for the last, you know, it could be six months. I felt like I didn't, um, I didn't perform how I'd like to. I felt like I didn't uh, commit to a lot of things. I felt like I was very tentative. Um, my opponent changed two weeks two weeks ago uh, from orthodox to a southpaw, and I think still uh, I'm quite new to MMA. Um, I've only done it for three years, and I don't really have any training partners that are southpaw except my new training partner. Um, so I think that kind of maybe threw me off a little bit, just in terms of range, um, and I struggled to find my range. Um, but I kind of, with my coaches just telling me where we're at, I knew each round mattered. And at the end, when they told me that, you know, I had them, uh, I had the rounds, then I, I believed them. So yeah, I thought that, you know, it was close, but if, if even if you, if you got a couple of takedowns, I feel like that's where you win it. And I wasn't on my back for long uh, when I was on my back and I felt comfortable there. So I didn't think I was losing. <laughs> I think the most challenging part was the, uh, perhaps the, uh, the fact that she was southpaw. Um, I wasn't surprised, like other people told me that I knew her had fought her, or she hits hard and stuff. I, I wasn't phased by any of that. I think just range. Um, so there's so much to work on. Uh, I'm taking it kind of, you know, with, with a lot, a lot to learn, a lot of lessons from that, but good lessons. And she's a great fighter, you know, she didn't, she didn't stop me from doing anything. I just felt like I didn't do things. So I think my biggest thing is just uh, backing myself and committing to everything because I know I can do it. It's just having the confidence to do it in a fight. But sometimes I think I, uh, I chase perfection too much. Uh, with my management, so One Punch Management, uh, which is Brad, Pickett and Kev, uh, I'm gonna sit down with them and my coach Jack and just kind of see where to go from there. It's, it's more looking at the female MMA uh, scene and the pro scene. Uh, females can turn pro, I think, a lot sooner because there's just less females. You kind of fight the same people. So that's obviously a goal. So yeah, we'll sit down next week, maybe the week after, <laughs> after I've had some rest and then, yeah, think strategy. <laughs> So I'm going to go back in the gym, I'm going to help my training partner Olga Rubin. Um, she's a Bellator MMA fighter and she's fighting in a couple of weeks uh, on November the 15th in Israel. Um, so I'm going to go and help her in the gym and then, but just, you know, sometimes it's nice to be home for dinner and not to be in the gym until 10pm. So, uh, you know, just a little bit more relaxed on the training in terms of training once a day, maybe not three times. <laughs> so that's what I look forward to and how I celebrate. Pioneer until you reach your peak.